hold the downshift paddle, second gear, 4,500 RPM, go. Love it, love it. That is so cool. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna learn a little bit about the C8 in regards to roll racing. So if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know that whenever I do races in the C8, it's usually at the track, at the drag strip, and we're going from a dig every single time. So I haven't really done a bunch of roll racing with this car, but if you guys saw about two videos ago, we took this thing down to Mexico, and we did a bunch of roll racing with some Hellcats and BMWs and some Supras. It was a lot of fun, but since I only do drag racing at the drag strip, I haven't really done any homework on you know where the C8 likes to roll from, what mile an hour, what gear it likes to to be in so today I'm gonna educate you guys a little bit about racing if you guys you know I don't like to think that everything's just common knowledge a lot of people may not know you know what dig digs are what roll racing and stuff like that is so I just want to go over a little bit about that and then we're gonna take the C8 and find out what gear it likes to be in at what mile an hour and then I also have a really cool feature to show you on this transmission this feature just made me fall in love with this car even more all right so for you guys that are new into racing there's two types of racing they like to do down in Mexico they like to do digs and they like to do rolls certain cars like to go from a dig certain cars like to go from a roll if you got a car that has great traction an all-wheel drive car or a car that has the engine in the rear with all the weight on the tires they're gonna do great from digs if you've got a car that's got way too much power not enough tire or a turbo car that has to build up the boost you're gonna want to go from a roll fortunately for us the c8 does great on both rolls or digs the digs because the motors in the back and all the weight sitting on those tires and then rolls because it's a dual clutch transmission with 500 horsepower and this thing likes to move all right guys we're going back with the helmet again just so i can give you guys a better view of what's going on and i can use my hands a little better i've also decided to leave it in sport mode so you guys can see the whole tack a lot better in track mode it cuts off to 6,000 and above because the steering wheel and the angle of the camera so i'm gonna leave it in sport mode so you guys can see the whole tack all right guys so we're gonna figure out where this car likes to roll from so there's a lot of factors that play into this so it depends on your speed your rpm how many gears you have in your transmission what's your final gear ratio in your rear end so every car is different so you need to learn your car you need to figure out where your car likes to roll from so first thing we're gonna do is figure out at every speed, at every roll, a 20 mile an hour roll, 30 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour roll, 50 mile an hour roll, where this thing needs to be gear wise. You don't want to be too low in your RPM range, like you don't want the car to have to struggle to get up into the power band and then take off, and you don't want it too high in the RPM range because you don't want to just like floor it and immediately have to shift it again. So you got to find that sweet spot in every speed. So let's figure out 20 mile an hour really quick. All right, so if we're going to do a 20 roll here, you guys can see I'm at 20 mile an hour. Third gear, second gear, we're at almost 2,500 RPM. First gear, right around 4,000 RPM at 20 mile an hour, a little under 4,000 RPM. So that seems like a really good spot to be in from a 20 roll, first gear. Let's check this out. That felt great, just, hit, just took off. It slipped a little bit because first gear is cold outside, tires are cold, but that was a perfect spot. So if you're doing a 20 roll in this car, first gear. All right, so let's figure out our 30 roll. What gear do we want to be in at 30? So let's, let's slow down a little bit. We're at 30, we're in third, second. Second gear at 30, we're right around 3,400 RPM. First gear at 30, we're at 5,500 RPM. That's one of those things that I was talking about where you don't want to be too high in the RPM range. If we're that high in the RPM range, I'm gonna floor it and literally it's gonna bounce off the rev limiter. So first gear is definitely not where you want to be doing a 30 roll in this car. Let's check out second gear. Second gear, I think, second gear, we're right around 3,400 RPM. It's a little low, I'd like to be a little higher, but first gear is way too high. So let's see a 30 roll in second gear. See that, you can kind of feel that it was kind of have to, it was trying to have to like get build up into that RPM range and then it was in the power band, then it took off. So honestly, a 30 roll in this car is not the best I don't, I don't feel like it's a really good roll for this car. 20 roll is really good because we're in first gear, sitting at about 4,000, 4,500 RPM. 30 roll, first gear is just way too high, second gear is way too low. So let's go to 40 now. 40 mile an hour, third gear, we're at 3,300 RPM. 40 mile an hour in second gear, we are right around 4,500 RPM. That's the sweet spot again, so let's try that out. Second gear, 40 roll. This car likes 20 rolls and it likes 40 rolls. Let's try 50. 50 roll, third gear, 3,900 RPM. Second gear, 5,800 RPM, 50, let's see. 
could do a 50 roll in second gear. Uh, you got to be ready to switch that gear though. It's it's sitting right up there. Let's see that again. 50 roll. Yeah, you're right around 55, 5600 RPM. There's only a thousand RPM left, so go shift. Yeah, you should be ready. So 50 roll we can do. You're sitting right up there though. All right, so now let me show you guys about the feature of this transmission that I'm pumped about. Honestly, I just learned about it today. My best friend Lewis told me about it. He says it's just like the Porsche, you hold down the downshift paddle and then the transmission will find the optimum gear for you to do a roll race in. Let's play with that a little bit. What you do have to be in is manual mode. So you can't be in auto. You have to be in manual. You're gonna have to shift. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it in manual mode here. And then what this thing does is, so we're right now we're at 60 mile an hour. Actually, you know, let's go down to 40 because we know 40, this thing likes to take off in second gear, right? So let's go down to 40, 40 mile an hour right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the downshift paddle and it's gonna find the optimum gear for you. So here we go, hold the, hold the downshift paddle, second gear, stuck it there, and then go. That is so cool. So you don't even need to do what we just did, trying to figure out the optimum gear. The car is gonna figure it out for you. That's amazing. You just sit there, hold it, and then when you're ready to go, you let off and you press the gas pedal. Boom, you're gone. That is pretty sweet. I love that feature. Let's try a 20 roll using this, this feature. See now, at a 20 roll, that we know is first gear, right? So you can just sit in first gear, get ready to go, take off, and do your thing. From a 30 roll, so 30 rolls, we didn't like 30 rolls. Let's see what this thing does for a 30 roll. All right, so we're sitting here at 30 mile an hour. We're gonna go ahead and hold the down pa downshift paddle. Stuck it first at like 5,000 RPM. We could do this, let's see. Honestly, like I know that from that 50 roll, I think it was a 50 roll, that we said that 5,500 RPM was okay. And it was, because you know, first gear, it just goes so fast that it just, it's just not worth it to kind of stay in first at a, at a 30 roll. But from a 50 roll, it's okay to be at that 5,500 RPM because it, it doesn't shoot up as fast as like first gear. You know, third gear is a little slower. What was it, second gear? Second gear, I think it was. It's just a little bit slower. Let's see how the 50 roll is with the downshift paddle. All right, so we're at 50 mile an hour right here. We're gonna hold the downshift paddle. It dropped it into second. We're at 5,700 RPM. That's not as like intense as that first gear. The first gear you just have like a split second. This one's not much longer, but there's a little bit more time. So it's worth it to uh, drop into that lower gear. Let's try a 40 roll. All right, we're at 40 mile an hour here. Hold the downshift paddle, second gear, 4,500 RPM, go. Love it, love it. That is so cool. Well, now we know both. We know what gear we need to be in at one mile an hour, and we know that the downshift paddle can do it too. So that's pretty cool. Guys, these cars are getting so smart. I love it. I freaking love it. All right, guys. Well, now we know exactly what gear we need to be in at what mile an hour. So I think we're ready for Friday and Sunday nights. I hope you guys found this information to be really helpful. I hope this helps you guys out with your cars. Hope you guys can find exactly what gear and what mile an hour you need to be at. As for updates on the car, we're still waiting for the samples of wraps to come in and we're still waiting for the exhaust system. They should both be here on Friday. Tomorrow is Thursday, so I wanna go ahead and take this thing to the track. I wanna see how this uh, transmission, the new transmission compares to the old transmission. I wanna see if it still runs 11 twos or not. And then we'll also get that draggy out and see how accurate the drag is compared to the track times but as always guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with us if you guys like the video go ahead and like it subscribe it really helps me out and i'll see you guys next video later